Hyundai is trying to make it easier for you to connect to your car before you even get in with its new Genesis Intelligent Assistant app. This is the 2015 Hyundai Genesis, and what we're looking at here is the new head unit uh, and the new Genesis app. And we're just gonna get into real quick how the app works. We're here with Larry from Hyundai, and he's gonna show us uh, some of the um, uh, ins and outs of the system. So you wanna show us how to log in and, sure. and things like that? So essentially with the new uh, Intelligent Assistant app, it's gonna have a lot more integration with your calendar, as well as with your weather apps that are on the vehicle. Um, so with this, you have an ability to you know, get alerts about, hey, you have an appointment at 7 p.m. based on traffic, you probably should head out. So we just got that alert, getting the information about you know, the location as well as uh, be able to send that destination to your vehicle so you can route and navigate to it straight from here. So this is all getting you ready for your drive. And this will obviously go into your, your uh, head unit uh, when you start the car via a uh, connectivity package that you can pick up? Correct. So what will happen is you actually have this uh, send a car with Google because all of our POIs are now going to be uh, powered by Google. So you'll actually go to here and it'll have your history and whatever most recently was downloaded. And so you'll be able to pick that uh, destination and uh, route directly to it. And now in addition to checking out uh, you know, your, your destinations, uh, there are some other things that are uh, really interesting about the connectivity with this car. Do you want to talk about how uh, you can start it, stop it, check out the weather right. in your area? So, you know, with Blue Link, we have the ability to have remote start, lock, and unlock. With the Genesis Intelligent Assistant app is taking that a little bit step further. It's working with your weather app to say, hey, you know, it's kind of cold outside. Right now it's showing, hey, it's eight, eight degrees. It, you might want to uh, prepare yourself for dinner. So you might want to start, uh, start the car and prepare it. You also have the ability to set the temperature inside the vehicle. You know, right now our default is set to 72 degrees. A lot of people think, hey, I might want to crank it up, but the great thing with fully automatic temperature, temperature, temperature control is that you're setting the temperature how you want it. So it's not too hot when you get in as well, because a lot of people tend to want to crank it up. But if you're running it for five, seven minutes, it's going to warm up. It's going to get it to your desired temperature. Okay. And now in terms of being able to interact with the car when it's across the country. Mm -hmm. I know you said that there's something where you can start it, uh, lock it, turn the lights on. Right. You, you want to walk us through that? Sure. So uh, with the Genesis Assist Assistant app, it also has all of our core Blue Link features. So we uh, have the ability to start and stop it remotely, lock and unlock. So, you know, a lot of times I'm notorious for did I hit the button on the door handle yeah. when I walked away? You know, you know, so you can have that peace of mind by hitting, you know, be able to lock your car remotely. You know, you, you secured with a four-digit pin, and as long as you have internet connectivity, you can do this anywhere. Right. Uh, you can have left on vacation. You're across the, on the other side of the country. Did I lock my car? And you're like panicked about it. You could do it, you know, easily from the hotel wherever you end up. And now the 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 app uh, and the uh, intelligent assistant. Uh, features aren't the only thing that's new with the 2015 Genesis. We have a new head unit up here, right? Yes, it's an all new eight inch uh, touch screen, very responsive, uh, uh, multi-touch uh, and swipe capability. So you're able to move right quickly through a uh, new, uh, very application design. We will have new applications. Now our, our the other really exciting part is our uh, POI search is now powered by Google. So you can actually uh, search for a POI Everything's going to be connected to the Google database, uh, working off board, as well as working with a uh, voice search. Uh, so our, so we can search using the Google voice search. Uh, uh, and connectivity, course. obviously, right now is running a little slow because we're in a. Please right. say the name of the point of interest. S Starbucks. So you can see actually once we are already connected, you know, very quick uh, to download, you can swipe through very smoothly into find your desired location. So we're gonna head over to this one. And with this, uh, you're gonna get a lot more in-depth information with, uh, you know, hours of operation as well as, uh, you know, oh, one second, there we go. Hours of operation, you know, seeing that it's open from 5 a.m. to 7.30, as well as a phone number. With a Bluetooth connected phone, you can then simply dial the location as well. That's very cool. So, I mean, this is really not even just solely a destination search uh, for, to navigate to, but also for placing phone calls. Sometimes you know very well where you're going, but you want to place an order to go. Now you have an easy access to find that destination without having to use your phone.
So this and this is all connected to the cloud. And part of the the program that you were talking about before is that not only can you get on your your iPad, your iPhone, your Android device, you also uh, you also have a Google Glass app that yes. does many of the same things that the iPad app can do. Right. We were checking out before and. What, what kind of things can you do with that? So essentially it takes all the mini Blue Link features, uh, our remote access features, and takes it into a wearable technology. So you're able to lock and unlock your car, remote start. You're actually even able to do a POI search. So you can search for a destination, look for it, scroll, th uh, scroll through a couple cards, and send that over to the head unit as well. So those same core functions that you want to do remotely before you get to your car, you're able to quickly do from uh, Google Glass. And the, the Glass integration isn't some pie in the sky idea. That's something that's production level can go out when the car actually debuts in, exactly. in the spring. Exactly. The one we are debuting today is running on a production protocol. It is interfacing with the vehicle. Um, it is actually connected to, to a vehicle and uh, delivering those commands to it. Uh, just not this one since it's having a controlled power situation you right. know, in the hall. So this is, this is really, really interesting. Again, we're, we're checking out the 2015 Hyundai Genesis. This is all stuff that will be coming to the road uh, this spring when the vehicle debuts. And this is Dan Halley for Laptop Magazine coming to you live from CES 2014.